Hi, thanks for stopping by. I'm Thomas Cook, and my company is Appalachian Strings. I handcraft Appalachian folk instruments, including hammered dulcimers, bowed psalteries, and Appalachian dulcimers. With a resurgence in interest in folk music and in folk instruments, I aim to be true to the ancient tradition of folk instruments by crafting my instruments out of hand-selected woods that are indigenous to the Appalachian region, and particularly to the Southern Highlands. I, I seek to make each instrument as much of a one-of-a-kind instrument as are the musicians who will take up my instruments to play with their special skills, uh, techniques, styles, and, and the composition of music they choose to perform. I hand select the woods for each instrument, looking for woods with special color, uh, patterns, and of course sound quality. I use only solid woods in the construction of my instruments. Solid wood instruments uh, will develop their own unique sound and tone quality and that will improve in, as the instrument ages. This is the reason why I do not employ plywood or other laminates in the construction of my instruments because such less expensive instruments aim for a generic sound and tone quality uh, which remains the same throughout the life of the instrument. I would like to introduce you to uh, my bowed psaltery. This is my smallest bowed psaltery. Uh, it's called a soprano bowed psaltery. Uh, this instrument has a nice bright sound uh, with a nice sustain. The soundboard on this instrument is made of quarter sawn sycamore. The bridge and the sound hole inlay are made of American black walnut as well as the two side rails are made of walnut. The backboard of this instrument is made of curly maple. The tuning pin block is made of curly birch. This instrument has 25 strings, two full octaves. The lowest note is G4 and the highest note is G6. This instrument is played with a bow. Uh, this is a handcrafted bow made of curly birch and finished with a hand rub tongue oil finish. It's strung uh, with genuine Mongolian horsehair. On the right side of this instrument, uh, between each of the hitch pins, between each pitch pin is a single note. On this side are your full steps in the scale. On the left side is your chromatic scale, the half steps in the scale, or your sharps and flats. You will note in intervals between the hitch pins are markers. On this instrument, the markers are made uh, with American black walnut. The smaller markers, quarter inch diameter markers, uh, mark your G notes. The larger marker, the three eighths inch diameter markers, mark your C notes. Uh, this is a handy reference in playing your instrument. This is an easy instrument to learn how to play. I'm an amateur and I wouldn't, count, I wouldn't qualify myself as a musician. Uh, and yet, I have learned to make beautiful music with this instrument. And I believe that just about anybody who has a tune in their head and a desire in their heart uh, can pick up this instrument and learn to make beautiful music. I'd like to introduce you to the sound and tone quality of my bowed psaltery. This is my smallest bowed psaltery. Uh, it's a soprano. I'd like to demonstrate its sound by playing one of my favorite hymn tunes called Heiferdahl. <laughs> 